conscious thought is always in the moment of now, but modern physics has no understanding of the moment of now, or why we have a flow of time with a past that can never be changed, and a future that is always uncertain. I believe the great mistake of physics was not trying to explain this as a physical process. In the theory explained in this video, the future only exists as a probability wave function formed by the quantum wave particle function of quantum mechanics, with the future continuously coming into existence light photon by light photon. And in a universe of continuous change, formed by a process of continuous energy exchange, the past is gone forever, and only the moment of now is real for each individual. Creative thought, formed by electromagnetic activity in the brain, is the most advanced part of a universal process of continuous energy exchange that can be explained by physics. This might sound odd, and physics can explain consciousness, but the potential for creative thought must have existed in the universe from the very beginning of time for consciousness to have been able to evolve within the universe. Therefore it is only logical that consciousness and creative thought is based on a physical process that is universal and spontaneous within the universe. In this theory the continuous and spontaneous process is formed by light waves of electromagnetic radiation. Because the universe is never at absolute zero, everything is radiating light waves of electromagnetic radiation continuously. If our eyes were more sensitive to the light, we would be able to see this universal and spontaneous process. Consciousness sees and feels this spontaneous process of continuous energy exchange formed by the forward momentum of light as the flow of time itself. In this theory everything creates its own time by slowing down the rate that time flows forming a curvature of space-time relative to its own energy or mass. Therefore we have Einstein's theories on relativity and because this is a totally universal and interactive process conscious thought is always in the moment of now as the most advanced part of this universal process. With each new photon oscillation of light representing zero, representing a new moment in time, the moment of now, with the positive numbers marching off towards an infinite future, their negative numbers receding towards a limitless past, the positive and negative of electromagnetic waves. In this theory we have cause and effect. Electrical activity within the brain will form electrical potential within its own reference frame. This universal process of continuous change, continuous creation, forms the potential uncertainty we have in everyday life and the mathematical uncertainty and probability that we find in quantum mechanics. This process forms a blank canvas that creative thought can interact with from the center of its own reference frame, turning the possible into the actual. The atoms of the hand and eye will collapse the waves of light into photon energy, just like any other object, creating their own future. In this theory, it is not just beauty that is in the eye of the beholder, but creation itself. One of the most amazing things about consciousness is that an experience in your life an emotion that you feel, a thought that you have, can be turned into a biological, physical reality by your brain. The dynamic process explained in this video explains the physical structure that this creative process of personal consciousness can be based upon. Therefore each life form will be at the centre of their own reference frame, being able to look back in time in every direction at the beauty of the stars, looking upon an infinity of possibilities from within a universe that is able to comprehend itself. Newton gave us the universal law of gravitation, explaining the inverse square law of gravity. 
but he never explained why energy should act on gravity in this way. Then Einstein gave us the general theory of relativity, explaining a dynamic, interactive process. In the theory of general relativity, when an object moves, the curvature of space-time moves relative to the energy and momentum of the object. But even the general theory of relativity, there is no explanation of why energy and momentum should act on space and time in this way. In a new theory, called quantum atom theory, an artist's theory on the physics of time as a physical process, we have one interactive, universal process continuously unfolding at the quantum level of the atoms. We see and feel this process as time, as a physical process of continuous energy exchange that is formed light photon oscillation by light photon oscillation. Objects form their own time by slowing up the rate that time flows relative to their energy and momentum. Gravity is not a real force at all. Objects just free fall towards the greatest energy because it has the greatest time dilation or the slowest rate the time flows. In this theory, mass is a byproduct of time dilation. When time slows down, it takes more effort to move an object from A to B, and this is seen as an increase in mass. Also, Einstein's equivalence principle between gravity and acceleration falls out of this theory, because energy and momentum have to increase for an object to accelerate, time dilation will increase relative to the acceleration. Therefore we have the equivalence principle between gravity and acceleration. This will be felt as inertia in the direction of the acceleration. Therefore we have Isaac Newton's first law of motion. Unless acted upon by a net unbalanced force, an object will maintain a constant velocity. This theory takes the dynamic interactive process of the general theory of relativity and extends it to our everyday life, explaining a universe that is continuously coming into existence relative to the energy and momentum of our own actions. Every individual is a part of this interactive process that forms the uncertainty and probability that is needed for the great game of life. But above all, this theory gives us an objective understanding of time as a process of continuous creation. Even a rose blooming will create its own arrow of time within its own reference frame. This fits in with the reality of our everyday life. With a past and potential future that we can interact with from the centre of our own reference frame, turning the possible into the actual. This can be in the form of art and poetry. Therefore, even a dancer on the dance floor will interact with this process, forming their own future space-time relative to their energy and momentum of their own actions. In this theory, creation is truly in the hand and eye of the beholder. Thanks for watching. Please rate and subscribe. It will help in the promotion of this theory.